Hi class, today I'll be talking about vitamin B6. It is a water-soluble vitamin and it is absorbed via passive diffusion. The pathogen in and of our body is really simple and the excess B6 is excreted in the urine and that is why it needs to be replenished on a daily basis. So some sources of this would be meat, fish, poultry, and whole grains. Those are the richest sources. Fruits and veggies surprisingly aren't the best sources. There are exceptions, however, of things like spinach, bananas, or avocados. Main functions, it aids in protein metabolism and as well as the synthesis of compounds. Most importantly, the formation of red blood cells, which is very important, obviously, to our body, and the overall immune functionality. Some food prep considerations would be to limit exposure to light, heat, and air because the vitamin's food content can be decreased. So the best way to prepare these foods would be by steaming, stir-frying, and microwave because it limits that exposure. While deficiency of B6 is rare, it does happen occasionally. Um, there are certain groups more at risk than others. That would be the elderly, smokers, alcoholics, or people that are underweight. And some symptoms would be convulsions, confusion, or depression, to name a few. So it is mainly known for helping maintain a healthy metabolism. That's the biggest thing. There are also some interesting facts here. It is present in three major chemical forms, and it is required for release of glucose to glycogen, which I thought was interesting. Is there a risk of toxicity with regular intake? So since B6 is a water-soluble vitamin, the risk of toxicity is very low because it is excreted quite quickly, as I said, via the urine. But there have been cases where uh, 2 to 6 grams of daily intake, which is only possible via supplements, has caused severe nerve damage. But this is very rare because most people aren't going to be taking that much uh, B6 daily. In fact, here's a recommended dietary allowance chart for you to look at. And that's about it on B6. Thanks, guys.